Hi folks, today I'm going to teach you how to make a no waste chicken feeder. If you've ever raised little baby chicks, this is probably a pretty common sight. I have one of these style feeders and they always get shavings and stuff like that inside of the feeders and they waste a lot of food. So I found a way to actually make myself a feeder of different sizes so that no food gets wasted and no shavings get inside the food container. Basically, what I did is I took a six quart shoebox size container and drilled holes all the way around the sides. This particular one here is a 14 hole model. There's five holes on each side with two holes on each end. So 14 different chicks can get to it at the same time. This one is for a little bit smaller baby chicks and it's actually an 18 hole feeder. The holes are placed one and a half inches apart on the very small baby model and on the larger size model they're placed two inches apart. So let's go ahead and get started with this project. Here's the tools that we're going to use for today's project. We need the tape measure, we need a marking pencil or a sharpie of some sort, a small drill bit, and then various size hole drills. This one right here is three quarters of an inch and it's for newborn day old baby chicks. And this one is an inch and a half and it's for larger chicks that are a week to three or four weeks old. I'll also need a power drill and my six quart shoebox size container with a snap on top. Now I'm making quite a few of them so I made myself a jig to make it just a little bit easier to measure all those holes. So let's go ahead and get started now that you know what you need. The first thing that you're going to do is mark the position of your holes. So you can either use a tape measure and a pencil or like I've done you can make yourself a jig some similar to this. Now I'm making one for the larger size chicks so I've spaced each of these holes on my jig at two inches apart as you can see. So I'm gonna just going to go ahead and use my jig but normally what you would do is just make a mark every two inches or every inch and a half if you're making one for teeny baby chicks. So let's go ahead and get started with our drilling. I lay my jig across where it is and I take the teeny drill bit that I have here and I just drill small pilot holes through the plastic. This helps it to keep from shredding. On the ends, I just kind of eyeball it. I put it right about in the center where it is here. Now I'm going to switch out to my hole saw bit. And it's very important to note that when you're doing this, make sure your drill is running in reverse, not forward. If it's running forward, you'll end up just tearing through this material and trashing one of these boxes. But if you run your hole saw backwards, it cuts out just a perfect hole. Each time you take out a hole, it's going to create one of these discs. You'll want to make sure that you take this disc off each time that you drill one out. Otherwise, they get caught inside and eventually it'll stop your uh, blade from being able to efficiently get through the material. Through the magic of video editing, I've went ahead and finished all of the holes in this particular one. Now all I do is just scoop some food into it, let a little bit Slip out the sides so that the level of feed is underneath the hole. Snap on the top. And there you have it. A no waste chicken feeder. You can also use this with quail. And that's how you make a no waste little chick or quail feeder. Whoa! As you can see, they love it. <laughs> 